Hi, hello learners. Resource and development lesson. One mark questions part one. Question number one. What is known as resource? Any materials which is used to satisfy the human needs is known as resource. Question number two. Name two broad types of resources. Natural resources and human resources. Question number three. What is the essential component of resources? Human beings. Question number four. How does thing process from the nature? The process of transformation of things available in our environment involves an interdependent relation between nature, technology and institutions. Question number 5. How does human beings increase the economic development? Answer. Human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development. Question number 6. Write the resources on the basis of origin. Give example. Biotic example fisheries and livestock. Abiotic example rocks and metals. Course number 7. Write the resources on the basis of exhaustibility. Renewable resources, non renewable resources. Question number 8. What are the two types of renewable resources? Continuous or flow, example, wind and water. Biological, example, natural vegetation and wildlife. Question number 9. What are the two types of non renewable resources? Answer. Recyclable example metals. Non recyclable example fossil fuels. Question number 10. What is fossil fuel? Fossil fuel is a natural fuel such as coal or gas formed in the geological past from the remains of decomposing plants and animals. Question number 11. What are the different types of fossil fuels? Petroleum, coal, natural gas or emulsion. Question number 12. What is or emulsion? Or emulsion is an emulsion of bitumen in water which is used as an industrial fu fuel. Question number 13. Give some examples for community owned resources. Answer. Own plots, houses, plantation, pasture lands and water in wells. Question number 14. Give some examples for community owned resources. 
grazing grounds burial grounds and ponds in village public parks picnic spots and playgrounds in Fifteen. What is territorial water limit of India? Question mark. Oceanic area up to twelve nautical miles. Twenty-two point two kilometer from the coast termed as territorial water limit of India. Question number sixteen. What are international resources? The oceanic resources beyond 200 nautical miles of the exclusive economic zone belong to the open ocean and no individual country can utilize these without the concurrence of international institutions. Question number 17. Identify some of the resources are international in nature. Minerals and oils in polar region. Question number 18. Name the international institution agreed India to mine Magnus noodles. Answer. International Seabed Authority. ISA. Question number 19. When did have the right to mine Magnus noodles? India was the first country to receive the status of pioneer investor in 1987. Question number 20. What are potential resources? Resources which are found in the region but have not been utilized. Question number 21. What are developed resources? Resources which are surveyed and their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization. Question number 22. What are stock resources? Stock is the resources for which presently we do not have any technology to extract them. Question number 23. Give example for stock resources. Water consists of two inflammable gases such as hydrogen and oxygen. But we do not know how to extract energy from these elements. Question number 24. What are resource, resources? Resources, we have kept them for future use. Question number 25. Give example for reserve resource. United States of America has a plenty of oil and gas reserves, but it imports oil and gas from other countries. They has kept its own reserves for future use in army and technology. Bye. See you in the next video.